The NIH campus encompasses 322 acres and 75 buildings that house 20,000 people of vastly different backgrounds and skills, but who are all committed to the NIH mission. First, basic science in pursuit of fundamental knowledge about the nature and behavior of living systems. And second, the application of that knowledge to extend healthy life and reduce illness and disability. Our roots have humble origins, dating back to 1887 and a one-room facility called the Laboratory of Hygiene at the Marine Hospital in Staten Island, New York. In 1891, the laboratory moved to our nation's capital, occupying the top floor of the Butler Building, and then again in 1904 to a more expansive space at 25th and E Streets Northwest. In 1930, the Ransell Act redesignated the Hygienic Laboratory the National Institute of Health. With the generous donation of land by Luke and Helen Wilson, NIH moved to its current Bethesda location a few years later. In 1940, President Franklin Roosevelt dedicated the buildings and grounds from the steps of Building 1. The National Institute of Health speaks the universal language of humanitarianism. The role of NIH was further expanded by Roosevelt's signing of the Public Health Service Act in 1944. The National Institute of Health became the National Institutes of Health in 1948. Today, NIH encompasses 27 institutes and centers, each with a specific research agenda. It continues to be part of the Public Health Service, which in turn is part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Our mission, to expand fundamental scientific knowledge about living systems and apply this knowledge to promote health, lengthen life, and reduce illness is supported through both our intramural and extramural programs. Intramural programs include research, training, and technology transfer by leading scientists at NIH facilities. On-campus research is often devoted to tackling high-risk health issues. The Clinical Center at NIH supports these efforts. This remarkable facility is the largest research hospital in the world and is devoted solely to research protocols. People from all over the world travel here in order to participate in groundbreaking research and treatment. NIH also supports research outside of our facilities through our Extramural Grants Program, which funds cutting-edge research by leading investigators across the country. The peer review process that evaluates these grants is the envy of the world because of its vigor and its ability to identify and support the very best science. Over the years, more than 140 Nobel Prize winners have been among those that have received support from NIH, a remarkable record of success. Landmark healthcare breakthroughs supported by NIH research include a significant reduction in mortality from heart disease and stroke, a sustained drop in cancer deaths, and the coordination of the Human Genome Project, which led to the mapping of the human genetic code. The invaluable research undertaken by the NIH continues to contribute to increasing life expectancy and an accelerating decline in disabilities. The future of medical research at NIH is bright. During the last century, most research centered on understanding and treating disease. The 21st century will bring a transformation in medical research as NIH targets intervention of disease before symptoms appear. This personalized medical approach will include identifying who's at risk, then intervening to prevent disease or preserve function. This will require a growing understanding of the molecular events involved in illness. The stakes are high but the rewards are great. Improved quality of life, longevity, and a reduction in the cost of medical care. 